What's up, gentlemen? You are on child support and you feel that the amount is too high. It's unfair. There are guys out there who are paying $1,500 a month up to $5,000 a month for one child. So, you know, this is for you guys because typically the information I've put out has been for men who don't have any kids who are not married because the prevention is way easier than the cure. So I'm gonna tell you what I did when I was in that situation. One of the things that you must caution against is this urge to make less money because you know the more money you pay, the more money you're gonna to have to give her. And also you have to understand how the court systems work. A friend of mine who was making like $200,000 a year he recently had a, a downward a move in income and he was in the middle of a divorce and they looked at his three year tax returns and they went off the highest year of earnings, even though he wasn't earning that. So he was paying proportionally more money than he should have because they went off of the 200 K versus the 130 K. And that's what his child support payments were based upon. So you got to understand that typically once you get in this child support system, they are very reluctant to let you go. They're very reluctant to modify your child support payments in the downward arc. Now, once again, you know, just have this conversation. A woman can have a kid and not be able to support that kid. And we don't put her in jail. We give her a place to stay. We give her welfare. We give her Medicaid. But for some reason, if you're a male in this situation where maybe you suffer a job loss, also when he, uh, he had lost his job, they were taking all of his unemployment. At one point, I used to live with him and I, w I was the reason that he could make it because I was paying him rent. So understand the system that you're dealing with. It does not care about you. Don't care about your dreams, your ambition. It does not care. It is not fair. And they hate to modify child support down because they feel that they're robbing the child, even though they're, you know, there's less money to the mother. Because typically when you look at it, a mother should only get like, you know, 300 to 500 dollars additional money because she still got to have a place to live. And, you know, if the child goes to daycare, you should split this down the middle. But since she is the custodial parent, you are hit with these burdens because in some states you have to pay child support, you have to provide health insurance, and you have to pay for daycare, which is could be 25 to 30 percent or in some cases half of your income. So what you got to do is govern yourself with the proper mindset. I'm in this situation. I got to find a solution and the solution. You can't do anything because essentially these are the parameters that you must operate in. I need to make more money. I need to make more money. That's what you need to tell yourself because I was in a situation where my child support never got adjusted up as much as she tried. So part of what I'm going to do with the hustlers LLC is put some language and stuff in there to help you guys. So number one, this is what I did. I started my own business, which is the premise of this channel, which is what I've been telling you guys for 10 years, because when you start your own business, they can't just go in there and take money. You get to control that. My last situation, I had a kid out of wedlock. We agreed to share it custody. I was going to take care of her during the day. But her family got involved and I didn't know about that. And maybe you should send the baby to daycare. And I was like, and we had this conversation. I was like, who go, who go pay for this daycare? I'm not, I am here. I have the time. I am willing and able to take care of my child. So she went with them and, <clears throat> uh, there was investigations done on me. She tried to figure out how much money I was making so she could gauge where her child support would be. Now the, the practical, the best solution, and th this is something else you men have to understand that if you want your child support lowered, you need to have more time with the child. You need to fight her for more time to proportionally lower your child support. 
which is what I was prepared to do. Cause you know, I was a YouTuber. I was working like, you know, 20 hours a week making, you know, good money. I had the time, but so, but once again, they were stupid people who broke our, our agreement. And I had our agreement recorded in, in emails. And this is the reason I got my child support case dismissed. So one of the reasons I was in this position is because of the stuff that was done before this event happened. So if you are in a situation where you have child support, you got to make more money or you got to, you got to make more money or you got to have more access to your child. So the thing that I did, and this is why you need an LLC because, and this is why you need to be self-employed because what they're going to do, if you have a job is they're going to go off percentages and you have no control over that is whatever you make. I remember I was at the courthouse and this guy went in and he was going to put himself on child support because he did not trust the mother. And he's like, well, I'm going to tell him like 350. And I was like, dude, don't do this because he didn't understood how the court worked. So he go in there, right? His child support ends up being $850. He was giving her 300 bucks a month. So he went in there and put himself on child support. They looked at his W-2s. They calculated $850 a month plus health insurance. And that's what he, that's what he got for putting himself on child support. He came out of there. His butthole was gaping. Old. He was like, dude, I tried to tell you. It, it, you can't tell them as an employed person how much you want to pay them. You can only pull that off if you own a company. Well, this is what my P&L state says I make. This is what I can afford. The court systems are not prepared to bring in forensic accountants and go through your stuff. Not on a regular child support, you know, in, in a high value, you know, where it's well known that you're a multimillionaire, you make a lot of money. Yeah, they may bring those resources in. And even at that level, you still got wiggle room. You got a lot of wiggle room, like Chris Brown. Chris Brown can go out and do a concert and make a few million dollars in one night. His child support payments is 2,500 bucks per month. Chris Brown had proper legal guidance because Chris Brown also has, you know, half custody. You know, he has his daughter half the time because, you know, he controls his schedule. I mean, Chris, like 2,500 bucks, that's $30,000 a year. He can go out and breathe on the mic for literally 10 minutes. No, five, two minutes and make that and pay his child support easily. So part of this is you got to understand, you know, because for you guys who are going through it right now and you got an attorney, is your attorney a peacock or is your attorney an eagle? And there are not a lot of eagles. Eagles out there are working on your best interest. They're going to push this woman. They're going to bring out all the dirty tricks. The peacock's like, well, you know, playboy, you got to pay her. So there's this presumptive assumption that you must pay this woman money because you used to be married or you have a kid by her. So one of the things that I did, cause you know, after I had this job, I was making more money than I was making when I worked in healthcare, which was what my child support was based upon. But you know, she didn't really know what I was doing. So hands down, Keep your business to yourself. Keep your business off social media because courts can use LinkedIn profiles, post on Facebook and post on Instagram to, you know, adjust your child support. So you sitting there like, man, you know, I can only pay 250, but you on Instagram propping Chris style, wearing diamond watches, throwing up stacks of cash. That's not going to help you, bro. Uh, there was this one guy who was doing that and they adjusted his child support to 2,300 bucks per month from his $220 based upon the mother stalked him. She went to his Facebook. She went to his Instagram. She had all of these posts documented and went to court and got him. So you gotta be, you gotta be chill. You know, if you're like, I, I want to live my life. I want to flex. Okay. It may cost you player. So first rule, no flexing. Keep her, her friends and her family 
out your business. They ask, it's going okay. That's all they need to know because once women see that, because first of all, they have this entitlement that because the courts and the law says I can get X amount of money, they feel entitled to that money. This is one of the things you're dealing with. They feel entitled that this is my money. Even though I didn't earn it, even though I have nothing to do with getting this money, it's mine. That's one of the things you're dealing with. So no flexing. Number two, you got to have an LLC. This is the only way that you can mitigate this because essentially I had a question that's like, you know, uh, dude's doing a lot of stuff. He's got a business in his wife's name, but he still is paying 2,600 bucks. Uh, player, you either going to make more money or you're going to get your child more time. Those are your two options you got. So, cause I understand, you know, 26, that's 30 grand a year. You, even if you make 150, that, that hits hard between, between child support and taxes, that's half your income. So the, the second thing is you got to develop this killer instinct, this killer mindset. Because when I got with the dudes with business environments, because she took me back to court because I picked up the kids in a brand new BMW. And I remember she and her sister clown. It was like, you driving that? You only paying $440 a month for child support and you got a brand new BMW? She was peacocking, her neck was rolling. She was like, and I was like, don't touch my car. Cause she had put her hand on my car. It's like, don't touch my car. I will call the police on you. Cause it got stupid. Cause she got loud and she got ignorant. Two weeks later, boom, 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 boom. Sheriff at my door. I gotta go to court. Cause I've been served. Cause she wanted more money. So I go in there with my brand new BMW. And at this point, I did not tell them I was working for business environments. I told them I own GC solutions and I showed a profit and loss statement. And this is when I was selling the new furniture and the numbers were really jacked up. Actually, you know, my income, they should have modified it down, but they didn't. But my income only reflected $36,000. And I had all these expenses. I had all these receipts and stuff. And I just showed them the P&L statement. We didn't even get to receipts because they weren't ready for that. And they were like, well, you know, he doesn't make any more money. And she was like, he got a brand new BMW. And I, and once again, you got to understand when they accuse you of something, you have to say, your honor, Miss um, uh, Miss Cameron is making claims that they're not founded. Does she have any proof of this BMW? She had no proof. She just like, you know, cause the thing is, uh, once I got my LLC and stuff, I put the car in the company name. So it wasn't in my name. And I was like, there's no proof. And she said, Miss Cameron, do you have proof that he has a BMW? And she's like, no, he just picked up the kids in it. It's a company car, your honor. So a big part of understanding the game is you must be an atypical man. You can't go in there like a normal man. The normal man, you're going to come out there with your butthole stretched wide. So I went into court, turned in my P&L statement, show what my, and actually it was honest because, you know, I did $1.5 million gross sales, but I had made so many mistakes that the profit really wasn't that great. So I turned in the real numbers and my child support didn't change. Next year, I was in the storage auction business, making even more money. So she had learned that she could not get me and she actually stopped this stuff. But a big part of, you know, if you're already in the child support system, understand if you can get low child support and support your kid, you know, buy your kid stuff. And when your kid's with you, make sure your kid's well taken care of. And that's a win because you ain't getting out of this with a big zero. It's just unless you're willing, you know, you've gotten a good attorney where you negotiate with this woman for 50 50 custody, 50 legal, 50 physical custody where there is no child support. And uh, one of my friends, he, he negotiated that. And.
The thing is, he got lackadaisical with the health insurance, so she took him back to court and she got $5,000 out of him. So even with that, you know, you got to keep good records and be on your P's and keys, Q's. But the only way that you're going to get out of this is to start a business and make more money. Uh, no one's coming to save you. No one feels any pity for you. No one cares that you are struggling financially because you have this honor. No one really cares. Let that go. No, you know, you, you can meet another man and y'all can commiserate and drink beers and be talking about it. But you, you ain't getting nowhere with that. The law is the law. So as I have said before, corporate stra corporate law can beat family law all day long. So you got to set up your holding company. You got to set up your an operating company. You got to keep your books and stuff, which is going to require you to perform and execute. Because, you know, I like, you know, when I did the child support course and the Hustlers LLC includes things that the art of holding doesn't. It includes, you know, the mindset books. It includes uh, the parental contracts and stuff and the you know, it's spef specifically geared for a man who may be in this situation or situation. So there is a differential. The, the Hustlers LLC is 500 bucks. The Art of Holding is 750. And, the, you know, and once again, um, if you go ahead and buy, you know, the Hustler undergrad and pay for it, I will hook you up later. But one of the things you've got to understand is mindset. You got to have the right mindset. I went to court and I fought my own cases because I didn't feel that I could hire an attorney who was going to do what I wanted done because attorneys are the officers of the court and they are guidelines and by rules, which they must abide by. So if they know you guilty or they know you make more money, they, they, they have a fiduciary duty to be honest with the court. So, that's a big thing because, you know, essentially the best situation if you get divorced is to fight for yourself for 50, 50, 50 legal, 50 physical custody and split the insurance cost. And that, that's the biggest win you can get. Your kids are going to be better off for it. You're going to be better off of it. And actually the ex-wife's going to be better off for it because, you know, typically with the Bumble thing, Dating women who have 50-50 custody, there's a week that they don't have to worry about picking up the kids. They don't have to worry about chasing after the kids when you can hit it and do hit it and do whatever you want. So she actually gets to be a break, gets a break from being a mom. And this is one of the reasons that but because women want power and control. This is one of the reasons they fight it, because the 50-50 legal, 50-50 physical cut is the best solution all the way around because both parents get a break. I mean, it, it's, it's the best way to do this. But once again, you have a lot of foolish women. They want that money. And they, they, they don't understand that, you know, that the 50-50 custody, 50-50 legal and joint custody is the best option for everybody involved. The kids get to be with dad. Kids get to be with mom. Mom gets a break. Dad gets a break. It's a win-win. But a lot of folks, because of that money, don't want to do it. So this is what you got to do is, you know, essentially, uh, I actually made way more money as a business owner than I ever did as an employee. And that's where you got to be pushing for. That's what you got to do. And, you know, build alliances and stuff. But for you guys, these are your only options or unless you can be a turd. The, this is it. You know, like essentially uh, with my case, I haven't seen her since. Oh, yeah. She assaulted me and I called the police and the police believe me. Uh, that's one of the reasons that she just ran away and, you know, I don't pay any child support. I'm not under any court order. And honestly, I don't even feel like I have a child because one of the reasons that so many men are not in these children's lives is because the mom has a point to prove or the mom is a knucklehead. She like, well, he ain't going to see the baby because this is, you know, positional power. One of the reasons that women act so crazy over the smallest thing. There's this uh, video of this dude who got his sons a haircut 
and the mother was like, you should have checked with me before you cut his hair. That's ignorant and stupid. And ignorant and stupid defines how many women act in these situations because this is the only power they ever had in their lives. Power, you know, give someone, you know, if you want to know who someone is, give them a bunch of money or give them a bunch of power and who they will come out. And there, there's a lot of good, sensible women who don't do this stuff. You know, if the, the kid's with the father and the father gets his hair cut, they ain't going to say a word. They're going to be like, oh, that's one less thing I got to do. But there's a bunch of silly, powerless, powerless, power hungry women out there who will make your lives a heartache and the lives of your children rougher than it needs to be because they need this power. And one of the things is you, you got to develop the killer mindset. Uh, one of the things you have to put together is an understanding of what you're dealing with and execute on getting your economics because economics is going to save the day every day, seven days from su seven different ways from Sunday. So the link to the Hustlers LLC, which is different than the art of holding because it has specific knowledge that's to help you navigate these waters, links below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.